Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into your new moon energy reading for the month of January. This new moon is going to peak on January 11th, so 111. If that's something that piques your interest, if it resonates for you, I challenge you to look into the meaning of 111. It has to do with new beginnings, new experiences, new opportunities. Now, this new moon is going to peak in the sign of Capricorn. This is an earth sign. So it's going to bring in a lot of earthy energy. What does earthy energy mean? To me, earthy energy is practical. It's things that have substance, that have existence, that matter to us. Um, things that are going to change and make or break our lives. A lot of us, it's going to be a perfect time to set goals, to look at what we want to accomplish throughout the year so we can focus our energy with intention. So let's dive right into these new moon energy readings. Now, again, guys, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. It also helps to set intentions for future messages and for information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. So we're going to dive right into Taurus's energy for this upcoming new moon. Let's see what we can see for you. Most important message here for Taurus. Do my Parisian friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Two of Staffs, Seven of Cups, the Knight of Staffs. It looks like there are a lot of choices, a lot of options that you have coming through this energy. And instead of being scattered, Spirit with this Two of Wands is trying to guide you to be focused. So we'll see how this plays out into the reading. We have the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords with the Magician the six of pentacles the justice the ace of cups the queen of coins the five of coins and the three of cups now what i see here taurus coming out how this is coming out in this reading is relationships now this can play out also with work business as well but with the cups involved, I definitely feel like this has to do with relationships. Now, the underlying energy is options. So there's a lot of options that are coming in. What needs to be released, the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, the Magician. There's an air sign that's in your energy field that isn't being honest with you. This person is not being 100% straightforward, keeping secrets. And it's definitely causing there to be conflict okay competition now what's coming in here is the ace of cups the justice and the six of pentacles so there's a person that's coming into your life that's going to be more balanced it's going to be in better alignment but you're going to have to release this person out with the old and with the new in order to align yourself with this new connection otherwise you're not going to be open to this experience. Now, I do feel like there is going to be some heartache involved. It's like you and this person have been involved for some time. I will say, Taurus, this is something that you're on the fence about or have been on the fence about with this current person that's coming out here in your life for some time. It's like you've been back and forth. Should you stay or should you go? This is your nudge. 
it's time to move forward. Okay. So, and this, the reason being here, Taurus, is because you already know, you're already aware that this person isn't what you want, right? They, that you can't really see, you can't see how this is aligning with your future. And so if you want that stable, consistent connection, safe, secure in your life, you're going to need to make space for that. Let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So Taurus, this Ten of Cups is ultimately what you want in a relationship. It's like the ultimate goal of family, happy life, happy wife type of an energy. But in order to align yourself with that, you're going to have to find somebody who is going to be safe, secure, stable, consistent, that's in alignment with everything that you desire for your future, for your future partner. Now, if that's not something that you've really thought about, I recommend sitting down and maybe journaling about what you want your future partner to look like in terms of characteristics. Not like I want this person if they change X, Y, and Z, but I like this characteristic, this characteristic, this characteristic, and this and this is something that I'm not going to accept into my life. Okay. And then going from there, brainstorming and journaling is the best way to get in alignment with that. Now, if that's something that you have already done and you've already thought about, because it is something I talk about here on this channel, understand that the reason why you haven't gotten what it is that you want is because there is a person in your life that you're indecisive about. So if you want this happy life, then you have to stop being on the fence and make a decision for your future. So let's get your lighted pathway oracle message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Polish your skills, focus on things and work more, sharpen your mind with insightful ideas, real practice, even minor tasks. Lastly, brush up on your language to get the best performance. Identify the blockages. Somewhere within your mindset, there is a blockage of energy that prevents you from reaching your goals. Search for it as soon as you can. Repeat affirmations. Keep a journal and write down your affirmations of manifestation. Start every new day by saying things out loud to charge yourself with more positive energy. Beautiful, beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.